Well guys, here we go, another one out, look at that, it's a beautiful little, I think it's a perfume bottle. Nice, eh? Nice little perfume bottle. Big clay marble came out as well. Yeah, not having much luck in this hole, this is a well hammered tip, but look at that. George Square. That would have been nice, wouldn't it have? Right guys, here you go, look at that, there's something in there. Is it a beer, is it a cod? Oh, let's find out, shall we? Let's see who's ready to eat. Oh, rock. Solid. <sighs> That's going to take a bit to get out, so yeah, leave it with me. I'm not doing it one-handed in case I smash it, and I'll get back to you. Well, that looks about ready to go now. <sighs> Beautiful beer. Aloha. <laughs> oh, it's a younger. Common as muck. Younger aloha. <sighs> oh man, I thought it was going to be something good. Well, there you go, guys. Right to the death there. Nice two tone ink, I call them, because they generally sit one side and they're wet and they get discoloured. So I call them two tone inks. I mean, you'll see that better when I clean it up. This is the problem, this is a hard tip to work. It's just not doing it for me, not in this spot anyway. It's hit and miss, and it's just getting too hit and miss. Lots of great gear out here, but I'll be honest, I think we've hammered it to death. I don't think there's a lot back here in the shallows because I ain't finding a lot of goodies. This was once a rich tip, but we've hammered it. Maybe one rich person in the town because it was sparse, but we did get a lot of goodies. So, yeah, I'm not even a couple of digs in here. We'll see what happens there. But, yeah, I've had three in here and not had about four decent finds. So, it just suggests that I should leave it alone and move on. Well, I was filling in a hole there. I've scuffed this with my shovel. Gutted. Look at that. It's a full pipe as well. No name on it. Sometimes you get the old wall day pipes for here. But yeah, you see where my, sc my shovel's scuff right down the tip here and off the side. Beautiful, full clay pipe. Amazing, man. I love finding this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Woohoo! Right, guys, I don't know if this is going to be what I think it is. I'm hoping it's going to be a flat back poison of some sort. It does look poisony. So there we go. I think we've got a poison. That's the earlier variety as well. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, snap tap poisons. Not to be taken, aqua. Beautiful little poisons bottle out of there. Come on, give us a cream pot or a ginger. This is an early tip, this, so I'm hoping for some nice things. Well, check this out. Andy's just chipped this up to me. It doesn't have the eyes for it, but it should still have the teeth in there, I think. But that is a beautiful little burlesque doll's head. What a peach, eh? Beautiful. German doll's head. Yeah, they're worth a few quid. Nice. Little find for Andy. Woohoo! Well, there's something you don't see every day is a clay bank bottle. That could be rare, but yeah, we'll not know till we get it home. Defraser clay bank and Glasgow. Black glass beer bottle. Very nice. Threw up by Andy there. He's on the bottom in his hole. Looking at Drew straws earlier on and I, I lost. I cut out the hole for the next dig and Andy's down there finishing off this hole. But yeah, that possibly there could be a rare beer. That's what I think anyway. That would go nice in somebody's collection. Well there you go, look at that. Tor Herbalist Dalrai, I think that says it looks like Dalrai and Ayrshire. Nice, nice little herbalist bottle there. That's nice from Ayrshire. I love it when you get stuff like that. I'm really having a problem struggling widening this. I've got a cable in here which is well gone anyway. There's nothing in it, so I know it's an old cable, so I know I can smash through it. But I've just got a lovely feeding bottle. Look at that, and it's not one that I've ever seen before. It's a mother's, looks like mother's infant feeding bottle. And there is definitely 
a seam going back there. It's got some other writing on the back. Look at that. London and Manchester. Maybe they'll know what it is if it's a popular feeding bottle for down that way. But yeah, like I said, beautiful little feeding bottle nonetheless. And that's a belter. There yeah, is also what looks like possibly an ink. Maybe like a Stafford's ink. Oh no, it's not. Straight out of there, look at that. And I'm not sure if that's got a tinge of green through it. No, I think it's just aqua, but it's just what the coffee stain still in the bottle. Essence Coffee with Chicory. Uh, they're normally SCWS. Oh, TH and Smiths. Hmm. Don't think I've ever seen that one before. Edinburgh and London. New one on me again. Well, there definitely seems to be some lovely goodies in here. Well, check that out. That's the first signs of ginger beers. That would have been an AG bar, stone ginger beer. Ah, it's quite common, but yeah, I'd have still preferred it was whole, but yeah, it's a good sign that we're getting into the right kind of scene now, and hopefully at some point we're going to get a nice ginger beer. So guys, had a couple of inkwells. There's a nice Victorian one there. Nice early. I think it's a snap top ink. I've got a wee boat ink. Very good condition as well. Lovely boat ink pen rest. Some people call them a boat ink. Uh, but yeah, this is made of lead, but I've no idea what it is, but it looks decorative. It's been a decorative part to something, maybe like a walking cane. It's circular, and generally all the kind of circular things were on walking canes, uh, and they were made from lead. I wasn't sure if that was silver or not, because that came out as well, but yeah. No hole markings on it, could just be preserved from being in the ash. So yeah, let's carry on and see what else we get. Right guys, this is a new beer on me if anybody's seen it. It looks like it says Case and Co. Barrow Alverston. Anybody ever seen that one? It's a nice crown top beer. Nice, fresh out the tip just after that cod. <clears throat> I dug this hole last night and I found a lovely, uh, lovely bottle in it and I thought to myself I need to get through the second layer of clay but I thought it was going to be like maybe like a feet but it was like but that much clay and I was in and I, I got lucky, got down and yeah, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get stuff, just managed a wee cod and a, a, a nice beer and that's what digging's all about, we've chased a seam for four days and just failed to find a, a fresh seam, we've dug a lot in here. So yeah, if you find a fresh seam, you chase it. And uh, that's what we're doing. We've chased it for the last four nights. And it's starting to pay off now. You're starting to see the cods and the beers coming. So I'm hoping this is the start of good things. And maybe a few, you know, a few little digs in here every now and again. Well, the bottles are early enough. It's just that we're not getting the fines. It's just pretty sparse, eh? That's a lovely Elman's Embrocation. That's early. So is this, this is a little Kepler bottle. Should actually say Kepler on it, hopefully now. Yeah, I'm lucky. Nice little Kepler bottle that is. And that looks like a broken butter crock there. I dare say that Andy's took that many parts of it that he's going to try and glue it back together. Hopefully he gets all the parts, because I've seen bits of this and I don't want to touch it just now because it's down the hole and I don't know what part he's going into. So I'll leave it and I'll show you it right at the end of the video. Another fairly big common bottle there. AG bar, Glasgow thrown out by Andy. Looks like some sort of boot polish. Sometimes they say AG white. But yeah, we're starting to see stuff now. So hopefully we'll get some finds. Well, I've been at that for about half an hour now. I've got it down to a nice layer where I want it. I'll show you what came off the top. Stoneware ink. Mini stoneware ink, some blank bottles, blank whiskey flask, caster off a chair. I like this one. Clay pipes, I'll show you one I like in a little second. Fist pump. <laughs> Check that out. Anybody know what that's off of? Looks like a fist from a boxing game or something like that, perhaps, maybe. Not sure. And uh, yeah, look at this one. This one is a chemist, I think. I hope it's going to be something nice, but 
you just can never be too sure. Yeah, John Mackay and Co. came as Glasgow, Edinburgh and Newcastle. So yeah, we've got it down to the layer that we want it now. So let's get in there and see what we can get. Hopefully get some goodies. There's Andy Boy doing the hole. Shoveling out, we're just widening out this hole now. Packed a hole in here through the fresh, which is very unusual to find any in here. Well, like I said, three or four days it took us to find a seam and eventually we found one. So we're going to keep going in this seam and hopefully we'll get some nice finds. But we've had nothing great yet, but we're getting close to the bottom. I think about three or four feet and we should be on the bottom and hopefully we should get some nice finds. I think Andy's got an... Is it an inkwell? No? No, it's a... An amber chemist. An amber chemist? Mm. Oh, that'd be nice, eh? So what? It's a Spite & Co. Dispensing Chemist in Barton. I think it's the contents that are amber. That's definitely a Dumbarton Chemist bottle. Hat polish here. <coughs> yeah, shows good signs. The ash is fresh, so... Yeah, we'll keep going and we'll just see what tonight brings. Right guys, check that out, eh? William Hornby. I don't know if that's St York's in it. I'm not sure. Established 18. York Street in it. York Street in it, aye. They're for York Street, Andy. Established in 1887. The year before Celtic. There you go, look at that. Bullhorns. Beautiful pictorial writing on that. It's a nice mineral. So that's a good sign. Generally, we see them, we start to see the cods and the ginger beers here. So. Tough with that. Right guys, so there's the first sign of goodies. Cod bottle, eh? Could be a good night in here. I'm hoping to get a full cod or something. It's always a good sign when you see that. <sighs> right guys, so I'm getting to the latter stage of the tip when I'm getting to the bottom where the goodies should be. So I get a, a white, which is a jam pot, but inside it is a bottle. But look at this for a preserve label. Camp coffee and chicory. Check that out. Preserved because it's been in the jam pot. Patterson's. Camp coffee essence and chicory. Glasgow. Boom. Cracking little find. Woohoo! Andy's just dug a cod there. Check this out. He's in the hole. If he turns round and it gets too bright, I do apologise for you, Andy. Let's have a look at your sod. I can't. I need to start up. Top man. Dug out a cod. Check that out. <coughs> Crown Mineral Water. Alexandria. What a peach. William Campbell on it, or Campbell. Yeah, W. Campbell. Proprietor. That is a peach of an Alexandria cod, and that hole was asking to give something out. To be honest, I dug that last night. Like I said, this is round two, and it's starting to produce the goodies. Yes, little cod. Mini cod. I did say to Andy, it's on a seam. I can tell right away with what you're getting, if it's on a seam or not, and that was sitting on a seam. So, yeah, shows are still goodies here. Oh, it's a GMP body. Oh, is that? Aye. Oh, nice G&P Barry. Look at that, would have been a peach of a cod, wouldn't it have? Glasgow in London. It's the second cod to come out of that hole. And I did say to Andy, it's on a seam. Beautiful, eh? Nothing really much I can turn that into, because I'd love to have kept that, but, but the bottle's just too far gone. But that is a beauty. Well, I've just dug this out. Check that out. That's a lovely little stoneware ink. I've come over to see what Andy's got. He's got a big Imperial, I think it's Urquhart. Quartz. Imperial Quartz. Quartz. Look at the size of that, man. An Imperial Quartz whiskey flask. That's massive. Nice big storage pot there. Victorian Inkwell in that. That's nice. Portobello. Grey and Sons. 2D. Beautiful big jug. Check that out. 
That's an absolute cracker, eh? That would have been nice if it was whole. And he's also got a black and pot with some of the original label on it. Nice. Seems to be a tip for the original labels, which is nice. You see, 